hang on to those umbrellas tonight because it sounds like we're going to need them, Allison. Yes, the rain's sticking around for the rest of the night and then by morning, maybe even some flurries. So we've got quite the forecast. I'll go ahead and get right into it. Outside of Norton right now, you can see some wet roads because we've got plenty of rain moving throughout the area. But the good news is, is if you look at Pinpoint Doppler, a lot of the heavy rain has since pushed off towards the east, now moving in towards Virginia and parts of West Virginia. Most of the Big Sandy now pretty much clear, but it's time to turn our attention to parts of Cumberland Valley. But for the most part, most of the rain has pretty much cleared out over towards Pikeville. Pike County now mostly dry, just dealing with a few light showers. But like I said, turning our attention now over towards Corbin and over towards London, tracking some moderate to heavy rainfall over towards Corbin now, now moving in towards Knox County over towards Barberville. So we're going to continue to see some of the heavier rain moving throughout the area, especially over towards Clay County as well, still tracking Lots of rain out there and then over in Breathitt County again, moderate to heavy, even some light rainfall moving throughout the area. So we're still hanging on to those umbrellas and the winds. Well, they're going to stay pretty gusty for the rest of the night as well. 23 miles per hour over in Lexington. In fact, a wind advisory has gone into effect for the Lexington Metro, but Eastern Kentucky has stayed out of that. London sitting at 21 miles per hour right now as over the past hour and since midnight, we've picked up a lot of rainfall, almost half an inch over in McKee, almost half an inch for Richmond as well, over half an inch over in Whitley City. So we've got a lot of rainfall over the past few hours, and that's pretty much just been through all the rain that recently moved throughout the area. Temperatures right now, mid to upper 50s, lower 40 or upper 40s rather over in Somerset and over in Danville as well. But you can see over towards Louisville, that's where all that cold air is starting to move into the area, now pushing in from Indiana. And we're going to continue to see that cold air filter throughout eastern Kentucky. Now we're tracking all this rain moving throughout the area. We've still got quite a bit of rainfall to get through. Temperatures by morning dropping below freezing, meaning we could very well start to see some flurries mixing in. But for now, the main concern sticks with the winds. Like I said, the Lexington Metro still under a wind advisory till about 9 o'clock tonight. Now the flurries could become a possibility later on tonight, right around 11 o'clock. And we're sticking with that chance throughout the early morning hours. So your commute might include a few flurries mixing in with some of the raindrops. But for the most part, we'll clear out by tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. But it's only a brief break. We've got more snow on the way by Thursday morning. And we're going to stick with the chance of snow throughout the morning hours. But then as we had throughout the evening hours, got a messy forecast. We're going to be dealing with some rainfall Thursday afternoon, lasting likely throughout Friday, potentially even turning back over to snow by Friday evening. But after that, after we get through this mess, if you focus on the weekend, things are looking a little bit nicer. We're going to see a little bit of a clearing, maybe see a light shower on Saturday night. But for the most part, things are going to be nice and clear. Temperatures will be fairly mild, and we're going to see clear conditions lasting throughout the first part of next week. All right.